Hi everyone, welcome to Legally Yours. I'm here again with the wonderful Sarah from Improve Your Public Speaking. And in this episode, we're actually going to run through a, a particular case example of where Sarah has worked with a lawyer and what the benefits that lawyer saw and, and how that process works. So thank you so much for joining me, Sarah. Oh, thank you, Karen. Okay, so let's get into it. So can you talk me through where you've actually worked with a lawyer, how that process worked, and then what actually happened at the end and what were the benefits that that lawyer actually experienced? Yeah, sure. So um, I worked with a lawyer probably a couple of years ago now, and I'll use her as an example. Um, she was someone who'd been very confident at school, which is often the pathway. She loved debating, she loved public speaking, all of that was on a complete roll, became a lawyer, uh, was doing really well. And then as she put it, she suffered uh, a crisis of confidence that came out of nowhere. Wow. So she contacted me because she'd had this one event that had gone badly and she couldn't understand why it had gone badly uh, so she got in touch with me and we had some sessions when I actually worked with her but it became clear when we unpacked what had actually happened in that presentation and what was going on it became very clear to her what the issues were and once without awareness you often can't fix these things so once she had that awareness, we were then able to come up with the tools for her because I have lots of different techniques in the toolkit that we can use. Yeah. So we worked out what her problems were and then she went away. She had the techniques, she went away and practiced them in sort of safe environments if she could. Um, and she found that it made a massive difference. One of the things was that she often has to speak to the media. She um, has some reasonably high profile uh, cases that she works on and it's in a particular area that is quite media uh, the media is quite hungry for content on that. Yes. So she, um, she then found that she could go out there and be much more confident with that again too. Plus she was able to deliver um, talks to her whole, the whole firm yes. and not have any issues. Um, so it, it, she, it really turned around from her because she was, for her because she was going massively downhill and had really lost that feeling that she could do it. Absolutely. Um, which is a horrible feeling we all yeah absolutely and I could imagine as well that people get stuck in that moment so they'll sort of send, tend to say well I'm no longer good at that or yes. you know sometimes I often hear as lawyers will say well I'm I'm not um you know I'm not an extrovert I'm not that's not the type of lawyer I am I'm more of this sort of quiet subdued but you can actually as you say once you unpack and you you can teach them the tools you mm -hmm. can actually become then a very um, confident accomplished um you know public speaker so you can actually improve that yes absolutely completely learnable yeah which is which is amazing because i think again you know you and i've discussed about how some people say oh, i'm just that's just not my thing i'm that's not great at public speaking and i think you know the majority of people this is even you know outside of the legal profession will say either they're a confident public speaker or they're not but you can actually help them get past that kind of um the, the mental block that perhaps is preventing them from doing it. Yes, yes, that's so true. And we look at things perhaps in a holistic way as well. So other areas of life where um, you, you may feel very confident, we can often transfer through various techniques, we transfer that across to how you perceive yourself as a speaker. And it's amazing the shifts that you can make. I love it. And I love the way that you mentioned in that as well about the safe environment, that it is safe and you can be vulnerable um, and that you enable, particularly I think lawyers, we tend to have this persona that we think that everyone thinks that we're very confident um, and that if we kind of show vulnerability that, you know, we'll be perceived as weak and not a great lawyer, but you can actually enable us to be in a safe environment to really, you know, enhance those skills um, and to, to be able to, you know, do all the things that we want to do. Absolutely true, yes. Yeah, and I really love it. Well, look, if this is resonating with you and you would like to learn more about Sarah's services, she does one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as, you know, group um, workshops and um, programs that you can have over a couple of months, head to improveyourpublicspeaking.com.au and you can connect with Sarah there. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. I absolutely love our chats um, and I absolutely love what you do. So thank you very much. Great. Thanks so much, Karen. Thank